I'm Carly Barnett in Broward County. Even with record setting early voting numbers, Republicans and Democrats still anticipate a big turnout Tuesday. On the Republican side, Richard DiNapoli, the Broward Republican Party State Committeeman, says they're already seeing a bigger showing than four years ago. Text messages, robocalls, door knocking, um, pretty much everything under the sun this year. I mean, we threw the kitchen sink at this election. So, and I think the numbers that will appear are definitely gonna be way larger than 2016. On the Democratic side, Grace Carrington, Broward Democratic Party State Committee woman, says she's encouraged by the turnout so far. And it's been more better than we actually expected, to be honest. Um, we expected that through the early voting period, we'd be up a little bit. And I think that we've exceeded the type of numbers that we were looking to see. Pete Antonacci, the Broward Supervisor of Elections, had this to say. It's unprecedented uh, that we have uh uh, almost 70% of, of our voters have already cast the ballot. 443,269 Broward Democrats have voted, 178,803 Republicans, and 204,316 with no party affiliation. That's 66% of registered Republicans and 70% of registered Democrats in the county. And it'll be the Republicans statewide, as well as in Broward, that produce some blockbuster day of numbers. We're reminding folks that they have November the 3rd is the final day to come out and vote. If you still have a mail-in ballot, you can drop that off at the main elections office at the government center in Fort Lauderdale, or you can bring that to the office here in Lauder Hill. You have until 7 p.m. on Tuesday. In Lauder Hill, Carly Barnett, CBS4 News Tonight.